I worked a night shift here in Hampton Roads. I arrived on the scene of a disabled car in the median. I had two cones on my shoulder and one cone in my left hand. I was walking back my corridor to set them out to extend it out. When a SUV came into the lane, slow down. I motioned for her to go in front of my truck. And as I turned my head back, I heard a cone get hit and instantaneously I got hit. At first, I didn't know what went on. These cones went flying, my hand went flying. I did a 360 before I realized, hey, I just got hit. My arm felt like it was shattered and they proceeded and just kept right on going. It was, you know, a hit and run. 12, 12.30 at night, uh, it was raining and uh, it was, the only thing I had left was, was the, the driver's side mirror housing. Ripped it, hit me hard enough that it ripped it right out of the door. 60, 65 miles an hour, I imagine the, the vehicle was traveling. I, uh, of course, was taken to the hospital, had x-rays done, make sure there was nothing broken. Um, instant swelling. The next three days, I held my arm and my wrist packed in ice to keep the swelling going up. Um, ultimately, what it ended up being is a really severe sprain. So when I got hit, it bent my hand, wrist backwards, which stretched out all the tendons and ligaments and ended up being a severe sprain. But I knew I had to get back out here. I knew I would get over it. I was a little apprehensive the first couple of calls that I had once I started back to work. But uh, I like to say I'm back in the saddle again. I'm happy. I enjoy working with the people I work with and I enjoy helping the citizens of uh, Virginia. They're so thankful that they're able to get on the road. They have the little ones in there and, and you know, they give you a hug and thank you. and. And it's great, it's a really good feeling. My name is Phil Foner. I'm a safety service patroller and I keep Virginia moving.